Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be recapping the Colonel's 24-17 double overtime victory in Week 3 over Lycoming College, and looking ahead to Week 5's homecoming matchup with Alvernia University. Our guest today is head coach John Drock. Coach, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks, Adam. Now, Coach, program's 3-0 and for the first time since 2009. Have you and the staff and also the players taken any time to step back and kind of think about how far the program has come in less than two years? Um, I think right now we're just focused on this weekend, to be honest with you. Um, we kind of move on pretty quickly. Uh, we're not essentially satisfied with where we're at yet. I still think we have a long way to go, and our guys know that. Uh, and that's why we kind of focus on the continual improvement all the time. Now let's talk about the defensive performance in Week 3. Lycoming entered that game averaging 457 yards of total offense, and we held them to only 239 total yards, including just one first down on the ground. Now it feels like we highlight the unit every single week, and every week they seem to get better. How have they been able to continuously improve under first-year coordinator Tom Elder? I mean, I think the scheme has been fantastic. I think Coach Elder's done a great job of getting those guys ready for what they're going to see on a week-in and week-out basis. And then when they get on the field, they're ready to go. You know what I mean? They've seen the looks that they need to see, uh, and they're able to execute at a very high level. It's great to have, like I said, and we said that early in the year, that that was going to be a strength of our team, a great senior group of guys there that um, is disciplined uh, and strong and physical. Uh, and if we can limit teams and make them one-dimensional, that's where we're going to win football games. Now to pick out one player, senior linebacker Bud Moyer had arguably the best game of his career. Uh, he was named the MAC Defensive Player of the Week after notching 10 total tackles with two interceptions, including the one to seal our victory over Lycoming. What can you say about Moyer's individual performance and just building off of that, the linebackers as a whole seem to be flying all over the field this year. Yeah, uh, I think Bud is a spectacular player. He's a leader for us on the defensive side of the ball. He does a great job of reading his keys, and he's a very, very physical player. You know what I mean? He plays downhill, and he's a good athlete, too. People forget he was a tailback in high school, and he has the ability to play in space and be a very good player in coverage as well as being physical against the run. He actually had another interception that was probably a bad call, and uh, – was called back and said was a incomplete pass but um so he could have actually built on that even a little bit more but those guys as a whole have done a spectacular job um, of reading their keys and being very disciplined within the system uh, coach elder was a linebacker so i think he works with those guys very very closely so they have a great understanding of what the game plan is uh, between Cole Jesmer and Gabe Allgaier and Jason Hampton and Bud, those guys are just really playing at a high level because they're so prepared. Uh, and I think that's a real credit to Coach Elder and the defensive staff as a whole. Now on the offensive side, the offense was clicking early in week three, but seemed to kind of hit a snag in the second half. What do you tell the players to keep them from getting frustrated and just kind of remind them, you know, hey, we still have a game to go in? Yeah, we uh, didn't get the ball a whole lot in the second half. I mean, uh, they had a long drive coming right out of halftime, and then we fumbled that ensuing uh, kickoff return. And so we didn't touch the ball for almost eight or nine minutes. Uh, and then we walked right down the field and scored. So I don't know that we really hit a snag. I think our guys are patient. They trust the other side of the ball, and they know that those guys are going to get them the ball back. And uh, when it's our time to go play, it's our time to go play. Um, they have supreme confidence in themselves and the scheme that we run. You know what I mean? They trust that us as a coaching staff is going to put them in a really good situation, and they trust each other that they're all going to do their jobs. And when you have a group of 11 guys that does that every down, uh, you can move the ball consistently. And it's one of the reasons we've been so good on third down, and it's one of the reasons we've been I'll put points on the board. Now let's look ahead to week five against Alvernia. We'll be facing a Golden Wolves team in just its second year of competition. Obviously not a team. No team is to be taken lightly. Mm -hmm. What have we seen from the game film, and what do we need to do to come out with a victory? Um, they're very young and athletic. You know what I mean? I think that you can see that they are a young team, but they are continually improving from week to week. I can see that um, from week one to week four, there's been a ton of improvement on that football team. Um, they have a very athletic quarterback that does a great job of throwing the ball and creating extra time, much like our quarterback. Um, so we're going to have to limit him a little bit to make sure that we keep him contained and that he can't break the pocket. Um, they have a talented tailback that was a first team all league player last year uh, and we're going to need to limit him on the ground as well. You know what I mean? If we let those two guys really get going and those two guys run in two different directions, uh, that's going to be tough for us to get off the field as far as defense goes. Offensively, we need to control the clock. We need to limit their time of possessions. We need to put them behind early uh, and put us in a situation where we can continue um, to do what we do really, really well. And what that is, is run the football uh, and then convert on third down. Wilkes University football team returns in week five when they host Alvernia University for a homecoming game. Kickoff at Schmidt Stadium scheduled for 1 p.m. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this week. Thank you.